hope she don't get sick, my mind. I wouldn't even monkey with it. I, I told my doctor that if I get real sick, I'm not going to monkey with it. End of my journey, I told him. I'm not going to go through all that, Marlene. I've seen too many people get too sick. You know, and all that stuff. Andrew, you put that uh, cutter thing up, didn't you? He's trimming my... Uh, yeah. You know how things go on, your, do now? on your fence? You know, like those. He's cutting all that down. I'm putting them to work. I don't know. Now my jump was 100.5. I wonder what's going on with me, Marty. Maybe I'm dying. Don't talk like that. I feel nauseous. Well, anyway, me and Tracy, you know, they're, they're tearing up the road there by, uh, I wanted to go to Applebee's yesterday, me and Tracy, and they got that old road tour up. So I thought, let's go to the Guernsey's down by where Jody used to live. You know, that's all out of business, Marlene. We went down there, boy, has it changed? And I told Teresa, well, I'm just going to take Nine Mile home. They're tearing up that whole road up there by Novi Road. You probably saw that. Um... Because Teresa wanted to go to that Applebee's, you know, I wanted to go to that Applebee's, and then I thought we'd go to that Kroger's up there on Beck Road. Well, I mean, you could have taken a detour, but I don't do that because I know I don't know if I'd get really lost and all that. And then uh, I went down Jody's way, and I go, wow, look at the Guernsey. I think it's out, Marlene. They used to have real nice meals in there, and they'd have like a little souvenir shop, and you could get ice cream. Come on, camera, focus. It's all different. It's all different in here now. I said, well, I don't know. What would Joe? Yeah, so I told Teresa, let's just take Nine Mile all the way home. And then we went over to the uh, Ram's Horn. And maybe it's something I ate over there. I don't know. I just had a, a steak, uh, steak pepper sod from some pantries. Can't drink coffee anymore. It really tears up my stomach. I can't drink that. Can't drink that coffee anymore. What about iced coffee? No, I don't. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, well, you're lucky. It bothers me. It tears up my stomach. I think it's just a little bug, Marty. I mean, I'm fully vaccinated. Andrew got the shot. He got the Pfizer shot. <laughs> you know, he's got to get another one. Emily's too young. She's only 10. Austin didn't get it. So, I don't know. I want to get the Johnson & Johnson. He told me. I don't know, Marty. I don't understand all that stuff. But if I was Donna, I would just come out and say, now here is what my will is going to be, Marty. And I would show it to you, and I would say, now here is who's going to get my stuff. Well, yeah, that stuff should have been already distributed. What is she waiting for? That she has to get. And, I mean, she's got a bad diagnosis, Marty. Not saying that she couldn't get yeah. cured, but she needs to get that out to you and Bill. It doesn't matter what she does with her stuff, really. I mean, if she's got stuff, does she have an IRA? Maybe she... I mean, she had a good job. She was a social worker, and she had a lot of good jobs. I mean, she must have got paid. Does she get money for doing all that? Because they make good money. But she should tell you what's going on because you're not going to know nothing. Yeah. I would tell you, I mean, you're her brother and sister, and I would say we've got to get together, and I'm going to show you my will. She must have it made out by now. And then I would say, and here's your money from Mom's deal. And, and you know, that's it. I don't understand what she's doing. 